With good discipline, you need to have good time management. I think having good time management is like the secret sauce that goes into being successful at being a field service engineer. Uh, with good discipline and good time management, um, you're pretty much already set. You already have the two main ingredients needed to be successful at this job. In today's video, we're talking about how discipline can ensure success at being a field service engineer. Welcome back to Untitled Label, where we strive for greatness through optimization. I'm John, I'm a field service engineer, and on this channel, I like to share my life on and off the clock with you. First off, Happy New Year to everybody. It's 2023 now. Hopefully you guys have the year started off on a good start. You're, you have some goals set to accomplish and you're already underway uh, working on those goals. For those that are coming back, uh, subscribers, thank you so much for all the support. Welcome back to another video. And you know, it's 2023. We're hitting the ground running. Um, bigger and better things to come. For those of you that are watching this content or any of my videos for the first time, uh, hopefully you guys stick around. You get a lot of useful information out of this video. Um, I know a lot of people watch these videos, but they, they don't subscribe. So I try to get as much information, uh, not even necessarily information, just my life, experiences that I've had that I think might be helpful to other people. So this is what I try to share with the channel. If this sounds good to you, hit that subscribe button, share with a friend, and a thumbs up always helps the channel grow. If you're someone that's interested in this career path, you're definitely going to want to watch this full video. Uh, I jam-packed a bunch of personal information, personal knowledge that I've learned from being on the job. So stick around and let's get right into it. And when I talk about discipline, I'm mainly focusing on the aspect of having the motivation that's necessary to actually get the work that you need to get done. As a field service engineer, you're going to be kind of in charge of yourself. Your success actually depends on you. So by having a good balance of discipline and time management, where you balance your personal life and your work life, uh, it's essential to be successful. If you have a good balance of where you're constantly working on things that you need to get done, while at the same time allowing yourself to have personal time, you're gonna be successful. Um, it's one thing that I think a lot of people struggle with as far as having that perfect balance. Once you align and you get that perfect balance, there's no reason why you can't be successful at this job. In my previous career as a fire controlman in the Navy, um, a lot of the work that I had to get done was mission critical. I had consoles that I worked on, systems that I worked on that were essential to being underway. So if any one of those systems went down, it's not a good thing. So there's a lot of pressure on making sure your equipment is working. I use that kind of knowledge to apply it to this job. I use the discipline that I've learned from the Navy and I apply it to this job. And for me, it's been very good. The thing is in the Navy, you sign a contract, you're probably gonna do your four to six years uh, based on your contract. And then you're either gonna stay in or get out. So with that said, job security is pretty good. Uh, the same thing can kind of be said with being a field service engineer. However, if you want to be someone that stands out, you got to be able to accomplish a lot. You got to be able to be that go-to person. And I think by having discipline as well as good time management, those two hand in hand is going to make you stand out. At the end of the day, you want to spend all this time you're putting into your career to make sure it pays off in the long run. For the rest of the video, I'm going to cover three topics that are essential for being a good service engineer. That's going to be taking care of your admin, customer contact, or scheduling your work that needs to be get done. And lastly, learning the equipment. Probably the most important, I would say, um, is going to be taking care of your admin. So the reason why that is, is because you can have the knowledge, you can be a good tech, but if you're not able to translate that as to being a field service engineer, handling your admin, um, taking care of all the other stuff that needs to be done, you're going to fail. Reason being is you're not going to be able to get to places where you need to be on time. Um, you're not going to have necessary parts that you need to get the job done. Just your knowledge that's in your brain and your skill set that you have, you're not going to be able to translate that into the equipment, which that's that's the main, you got to be able to work with the equipment. So if you can't get to the equipment or you don't have what you need to get to the equipment, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So as a field service engineer, since we are kind of by ourselves, we go out to the field, handle what work we need to be done. 
Um, we do have a lot of expenses, expenses for travel, hotels, car rentals, stuff like that. So making sure you're on top of your expense report, at the end of the day, it's so important. Um, for me, I use my own personal credit card. You have, some people might have a company credit card. My company does offer a company credit card. However, I like to use mine for points. If you haven't seen my video on points, check that out. The points game is crazy. It's just another way for you to build on top of your pay. Just another thing that a lot of people don't know about that they should. So check that video out. But as I said, expense reports are important. Um, one, as you submit your expense reports, you're getting money back to pay off whatever credit cards that you have. So for me, that's going to affect my credit score, credit report, stuff like that. So I want to make sure I'm on top of that. That way, the money that I'm spending, it's coming right back. That way I can pay off my bills. Now, the next thing is going to be maintaining a good time card. Now, I don't know if everyone that's out there, uh, depending on your employer, if you're going to be handling your own time card. For me, I handle my own time card. I make sure to get my time card done every day. Um, at the latest, at least the next day. That way I have everything mentally in my head. That way I don't forget what hours I worked or what I did for the previous day or for the current day. So maintaining and staying on top of your time card is important because the worst thing is going to be it's two weeks. You haven't done your time card and now you got to submit it in like an hour. So you don't want that. Why would you want that stress? Not to mention, your supervisor is not going to enjoy that. They look at your type card, you have nothing there. It's like, did you even work for the last two weeks? Obviously, you did. But if you just stay on top of it every day, it just makes things a lot easier. Another thing I make sure to do at the end of the day is to close out any jobs or reports that I have for the day. Uh, reason being is same thing kind of tying in with your time card. You don't want that to linger on and then it just piles up. If you just get it done at the end of the day, um, let's say it's the evening, you just got a maintenance completed, everything's closed out. There you go. You close it out. Now you don't have to worry about it later on. So maintaining and staying on top of closing out your jobs or your reports, another good tip. Last but not least is ordering parts or just making sure you have a good parts inventory. There's nothing like getting to a customer site and you're missing parts that you need to complete maintenance or repair. So making sure you have everything that you need, making sure you're ordering parts as you need them, essential. Now, second aspect of having this discipline and good time management is going to be reaching out to your customers for scheduling purposes and maintaining good contact. There's nothing like reaching out to someone and they don't respond back. So why would you want to be that same person? If you reach out ahead of time, you know, you plan things ahead. You, hey, I'm going to be at this uh, at this customer site on this day at this time. Everything's in the books, right? Ahead of time. That's one thing I try to do. I try to reach out to the customers ahead of time just so I know what's going on for the most part and how my week is going to be. One, it helps you with scheduling in case random repairs pop up. And two, it's just organization. The more organized you are, the easier this job gets. I have a colleague by the name of Noah uh, at our sales meeting. He gave a presentation about an IQOQ. IQOQ, in case you don't know, it's an installation of a new instrument. So the customer paid a large amount of money for this new instrument, right? So they want to they wanna be able to use it, you know? And a lot of times they need these reports to be sent in. So that's where it kind of ties in. No one wants to order something, spend this much money, and then they have to sit around and wait to use it. So I kind of keep that logic in mind because he used a really good example tying into a Porsche. I love cars, by the way. I love Porsches. But again, you don't want to be that person that's like, oh, man, I ordered this thing. I'm ready to use it, but I can't. It's just sitting there. I have to look at it until I get this report. So think about it that way. Get your reports turned in the same day you complete them. If you're still watching this video and you're finding some of this information helpful, useful to you, uh, smash that like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe as well if you haven't. A lot of the people that watch these videos, they don't subscribe, they don't like, which is okay because I'm doing this for my future self. But at the end of the day, it just always helps the channel grow, helps to get this information out there to everyone else in case they might be interested as well. Another thing too, I just mentioned I like Porsches, I like cars. Uh, if you follow me on my personal Instagram, which is going to be trapmaster underscore John, 
you could see more of my personal daily life car stuff a lot of just random stuff that's more personal to me now the last tip after you mastered the other two things that i previously mentioned is going to be spending time to learn the equipment so for our company that i know and i'm sure probably for your company or the company you're interested in working for too they have things like tech pubs pdfs like just folders of just random useful kind of good information about the equipment that you can look at so if you ever find yourself on a let's say you're on the home day you're just chilling out at the house not doing anything being productive get in those tech pubs man at least like look through just scroll and just learn more about the equipment there's always just random things that you can learn that might be helpful to you a lot of times you might have uh, equipment updates or bulletins that come out that no one really takes time to look at i know for me my equipment there's always stuff coming out it's hard to keep up with especially being only two years in the game going on my third year but it's always good to try to go through and try to familiarize yourself with that equipment or with those bulletins over time because you never know when you might run into an issue and all of a sudden it's like oh wait i read about that let me go back pull it up and then you can just follow that information i'm a firm believer of knowledge is power with that said i hope you guys enjoyed today's video hopefully you guys found this useful helpful informational if you did Consider sharing this with someone else that might be interested in becoming a field service engineer. Some of this information can be applied to just regular jobs as far as discipline and good time management. So with that said, I'll catch you on the next one.